Christian Eriksen, who collapsed shortly before half time, is now stable in hospital. Uh, we're going to show you the rest of the game, which means, of course, an interruption to the programme that was currently on air on BBC One. Uh, this is the statement from the Danish FA. Following the request made by the players, um, acts, I do forgive me, that's the UEFA statement, which I'll read to you in a second. But um, as you can see there yourselves, Christian Eriksen is awake and his condition remains stable. He remains hospitalised at Riggs Hospitalet for further examinations. The match against Finland will be played tonight. This happens after the players have been confirmed that Christian is OK. Uh, now we can read that uh, UEFA statement. Following the request made by players of both teams, uh, UEFA has agreed to restart the match between Denmark and Finland tonight at uh, 20.30. That's uh, obviously 7.30 UK time. The last four minutes of the first half will be played. Uh, there will then be a five-minute half-time break followed by the second half. Everyone at the BBC is hoping uh, that Christian Eriksen makes a full recovery, of course, and uh, we apologise to anyone who was upset by the images broadcast. The stadium coverage is controlled by UEFA as the host broadcaster, and as soon as the match was suspended, we took our coverage off air as quickly as possible. Um, well, the first thing is that it does seem like good news that uh, Christian Eriksen is stable in hospital. Uh, we all feared the worst, of course, so that's encouraging. Yes, it is indeed. I mean, uh, that's great news uh, because, you know, what you want is to enjoy the football and uh, worry about uh, nothing else and, you know, from here send uh, all my, my thoughts and love to, to Christian himself and to all the family and uh, just uh, hope that nothing else happens and we can just focus on football, which uh, I pray we will do. Yeah, in incredibly worrying uh, moments. I've never quite seen anything like it, um, Alex, um, but it does appear to be uh, good news. Yeah, we were all sitting here, everyone I think around the world was... So the news that's now finally filtering through to us all is one that we hoped and wished for and we hope it continues that way. And we can only sit here and e echo each other's words, I suppose, but sending, you know, all the love to his family, his friends and everyone that will most probably be making phone calls, trying to be by his bedside and continuing that he makes a full recovery. Yeah, and, and the players must have been encouraged by that news to actually offer to play the game, to resume, Micah. That'd be incredibly difficult after those traumatic circumstances they've been through. Yeah, it'd be extremely difficult. I don't think I could have played on after seeing... Mm -hmm. uh, some of them images you know I mentioned the word hope and he pulled through when we seen them them images and I want to give a, a big shout out to the, the medical teams mm. both both medical teams you know have been at the stadium and they've done the job exceptionally well and hopefully you know it can be a a great recovery for him and see him back on the pitch I suppose sometime in, soon. I suppose in some ways, um, Sesk, if, if something like that were to happen, it, whether we don't know what, exactly what it is at the, at the moment, um, but if something is like that happens, there's probably no better place for it to happen than in, in a stadium, in a big tournament, because of the medical facilities that are available. It may well have saved him, who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, definitely he's a plus because, mm. uh, as you said, you know, the, the care and the medical staff uh, at the stadium is, is, is top class. It's been uh, maybe not at this level, but it's happened before that they've always saved and been mm. on the case since since first minute. They know exactly what they're doing, top professionals. And, and from here, mm. of course, send them uh, their our congratulations because uh, it's not easy when you are under so much pressure. This is... This is the manager obviously getting his team together before the game. You can use, perhaps he'll harness that, your energy, that, that togetherness that mm -hmm. something like that has happened. This is where a team really together because like how Micah, all of us showing different emotions and you need now to all be together. You're doing it for a bigger reason, like how we've said, other than football. You're doing it and bringing everyone together. And that's when the, the love in that huddle, what we're seeing everyone, we've got to go and play a football match. Not for us now but yeah. for what we've seen. Difficult too for, for, for the Finland players as well. Yeah, of course, it's, it's, it's for, for both players. At the end of the, end of the day, you know, a life is more important than football. Yeah. Um, that's the, the, the obvious thing, so it'll be equally 
is difficult for, for both both teams. But Alex makes a good point. There's all the more reason to go out there and give, you know, 100. Most distressing scenes I think I've ever seen at any football match. Uh, Christian Eriksen falling to the ground, his teammates um, surrounding him, um, clearly distraught and both, both the you know, teammates of his own and uh, the Finland team as well and football really truly put into perspective. I, I, I think the only thing I can remember remotely like that was Fabrice Mwamba. He pulled through. Um, let's hope for his sake. Um, Christian pulls through as well. I mean, it's so distressing. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say, really. Uh, my body's shaking. Mm -hmm. All I can think is about Christian's family, what they must be going through. Uh, it's a very, very sad moment. And uh, I pray for the very best. Obviously, it's um, impossible to get any update, any news uh, at present. Um, we'll, we'll try and bring it to you um, if we hear anything. Let's hope it's uh, good news. But, Alex, I mean, it's very difficult to know what to say, isn't it? Except just let's hope that somehow he's OK. And that's what, like Seth said, I mean, I'm already getting emotional because yeah. I can't believe, I think, everyone at home, what we're witnessing. And like you said, Gary, I think football totally goes out of the window right now and you're thinking about his family, all the rest of the players that are out there witnessing it as well. I actually just got on my phone, I messaged my mum and told her I love her oh. and I think it's a reminder <laughs> mm -hmm. of how quickly life can change, yeah. just like that. Yeah. I think but. one thing you have to have though, you have to have hope. You've yeah. seen it with mm. Fabrice Mwamba, um, he pulled through and that's all you can do. You know, we don't know the news, yeah. we can't you know, make assumptions, and all we can do just is sit here pray. and pray that he's yeah. Extra through. extraordinary um, circumstances. Um, um, uh, we've we've seen it a couple of times, and he was just running towards the ball and and and, and stumbled. Um, the crowd obviously are in shock as well. Everybody's in shock um, in the football world, I would imagine, um, at present. And. Um, Football doesn't matter at the moment, does it? Really doesn't. That's, that's exactly no. what I was thinking about. And me, the first one, how many times I go home and I'm upset yeah. and I pay it with my family, my, with my loved ones, and you realise that it's just a game. Mm. You know, it's a game and uh, we need to enjoy it uh, every second and have passion for it, but really, the, there are things that doesn't matter anymore, you know. More important is, is health, you know, try to be always happy, you know, enjoy what you have in life, how, how blessed we are, and, and that's mm. it. And this is, yeah. this is just a, a big shock and a reminder for, for all of us. You could tell immediately from, from the players' reaction, from Anthony Taylor, the referee's reaction, that, that, that something dreadful had happened. The reaction from players, I think the fans, but all we can do is literally, like Michael, you said, sit here and hope that he pulls through this. We've seen a situation before with Fabrice and just keep sending prayers that he pulls through this. Yeah. That's all we can do. It's like you said, Micah, is, is, is hope. And um, we, we have no further information. There's, there's nothing really much we can add. Um, the game has, of course, been postponed.